Now we're going to cover the conduction system of the heart. So, just to orient, this is going to be your uh, apex of the heart, and up here is going to be your base of the heart. It's kind of flipped around what you might think, because the base, people typically think bottom, but in this case, your apex of the heart is going to be facing down towards your left hip, while your base of the heart is going to be more superiorly up, kind of located uh, at the top of your lungs. So, where does the conduction system of the heart start? Well, it's going to start up at the base. So, it's going to start in a node that's up here. And your node is just going to be a collection of cells that act differently than the rest of the heart. So, that's going to be called your sinoatrial node, also labeled the SA node. Your SA node is going to be your main pacemaker of the heart. And for that, what it's going to do is it's going to send its uh, depolarization action potential down through the right atrium and it'll go over to the left atrium as well, and your atrium will contract at the same time. It's going to go through the myocardium, which is the heart muscle, myo meaning muscle, cardium for heart, so the myocardium, and it's going to go to another node, which is going to be called your AV node, your atrioventricular node, and your AV node, atrial, meaning it goes from your atria, to your ventricle, so atrioventricular node. So it's going to be kind of on the border between your right atria and your right ventricle, and same with left. So from there, it's going to go into your bundle of Hiss, and what this is going to do is going to slow down the conduction. So from your sinoatrial node to your AV node, it's going to contract your right atria. Conduction from your AV node, which I can draw in, your AV node to the rest of your heart is going to be slowed. So it's going to go through a bundle of Hiss into a right and a left fascicle. So your right and your left uh, bundle branches. All of this is happening inside your ventricular septum. And your ventricular septum, I know that kind of goes against anatomy, but your ventricular septum is going to separate your right and your left ventricle. So within that ventricular septum, it's going to split into your right and your left bundle branches. And your right is going to eventually end up on your right side of your right ventricle. And likewise, your left bundle branch is going to end up your left ventricle. So action potential started up in your sinoatrial node, goes down through the atria. You can also draw it through the left atria. It's going to end up in your AV node. From your AV node, it's going to go through the bundle of Hiss into your left and your right bundle branches. And from your left and your right bundle branches, it's going to go into your Purkinje system. And that's what this system is called that reaches all out here. And through your Purkinje system, then it's going to go to your myocardium. It's going to start on your endometrial side, so the inside layer. And then it's going to work its way eventually to the outside layer. So your heart muscle layer is, it's not too thick, but it is thick enough, and especially in your left ventricle, it's the thickest. So it's first going to depolarize, once it hits your Purkinje system, the endometrial layer, the endomyocardial layer, work its way up through the myocardium to the epicardial layer. So running through one last time, Sinoatrial node, atrioventricular node, bundle of Hiss, bundle branches, Purkinje system. First going to do your endocardium, then it's going to work its way to the epicardium. And then, once, polar, once uh, depolarization has occurred, repolarization will occur. Repolarization works just the opposite way. So it's going to start in the epicardium, and it's going to repolarize down to the endocardium. Speaking about speeds of conduction, your sinoatrial node will conduct first, and then it'll go down to your atrioventricular node. This is going to be a fast conduction. It's going to be slowed, so it's going to give time for the atria to contract. So the impulse will be slowed through the bundle of Hiss in the AV node, then it's going to work its way back through the Purkinje system, which speeds back up again. That gives you the lub-dub, or the atrial 
and then the ventricular contract contraction.